Hello and welcome to the moment from Trinity United Church in Winnipeg for Tuesday, February the 2nd is today. Um, yesterday I received something in the mail, this little box here and uh, well it wasn't only this box, it was a big box full of these little boxes and inside as I opened them up was the parcel for the young folks that are going to be receiving some of these items. So there's like some pencil crayons, a little candle, there's a a very good glue stick here, um, a beautiful hand carved wooden cross that's here, um, and a few other, oh, this is something they love, love, some great clay that they're going to be able to make things out of, and a few other things that are in this box. And this box is part of the kit that we're sending home with them, um, with for the Sunday School kids, and so that they'll be able to take part in Lent and Holy Week and Easter. It was an unexpected, I knew this box was coming, but I didn't know that it was coming yesterday, and it was an unexpected surprise. The other day, um, I was uh, also, those unexpected surprises are what Epiphany are, is all about. The other day, I was in a conversation with someone, and all of a sudden, it became deep and very personal. And that moment, in that moment, I felt God's presence close by, and and as if, as if God was right there with us as we spoke and listened to one another. Those kinds of times are epiphany moments and there are many times that you may be feeling that as well. I know too that uh, the other day when we were out for a walk and we just happened to glance and, and all of a sudden it was just beautiful, just beautiful and we had to stop and breathe and just say this is a beautiful world that we live in. Another epiphany moment. I've walked by that place, I don't know how many times, hundreds of times since I've moved here, and, and yet at that moment, it was just perfect, just perfect as part of God's creation. Throughout Epiphany, we're going to talk about many different things um, that uh, we recognize in a new way and realize in a new way and are transformed. And so we hope and pray that all of us have a have an opportunity to discover an epiphany moment. This Sunday we're celebrating communion together and even though we are apart, God's Spirit will be part of all that we do together, whether we're watching it in the middle of the night, in the morning, in the afternoon, whenever it is that we catch it. And it too will be a moment of God, that holy moment. Those are the moments that help with our faith and enable us to remember that God is with us as we travel this journey even when it feels difficult, even when uh, we do new things in a new way, even when uh, we might be feeling overwhelmed or sad. Those are the times that God will be with us always. And so as you go about your week and think about uh, all the things that you have to do, maybe some things in a new way, we hope and pray that uh, you too will know God's Spirit with you and that God will walk with you on your way, doing your tasks and, and enabling you to share God's love with all you meet. May it be so. Amen.